Nadda for having us here. It's my pleasure to uh, give you a quick introduction to the solar rooftops. Why solar today? What makes it compelling now? We hope to cover uh, uh, a lot of that in this short presentation. Also want to spend some time on the economic structures which uh, an RWA can use to take advantage of uh, solar rooftop. What are the obvious benefits of uh, solar energy? So zero fuel cost, as long as the sun is shining, there will be energy. Uh, the cost is largely the upfront cost of building the plant itself. Uh, it can be integrated with existing systems. This was not the case earlier, so you don't need to redo uh, a lot of the, the lines or the electrical connections in the building to actually now integrate with solar. Uh, in many of our apartments, the roofs are unutilized, so here we are actually sweating that asset with a very little incremental effort. Uh, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest challenges of the power industry in India is what they call TND or transmission and distribution losses. Uh, in many cases, this is a euphemism for power theft, particularly in uh, some of the more rural areas. Uh, here, because our load and uh, the point of generation are very close to each other, the TND losses are minimal. And again, because solar panels don't have any moving parts, the maintenance costs are much lower. But not the least, uh, there's no air or noise pollution, so there's no smoke, there are no fumes and uh, there's no irritating noise which can uh, cause disturbance uh, either to ourselves or to our neighbors. Between 1976 and today, so the price of solar panels has fallen by more than 99%. Uh, again, it's very similar to what we've seen in mobile phones also, where uh, prices might not fall as sharply as we would like, particularly if you're fond of brands like Apple. But the features just go on increasing and increasing. And pretty much what we have today is generations ahead of what we had even five years ago or ten years ago. So when I first, first started evaluating solar projects professionally as an investor, maybe about ten years ago, at that stage it, the cost of solar was around 18 crores a megawatt. Uh, today the, the, that cost is, is maybe lower by 80% or more than 80%. The other thing which has made solar energy compelling today is that uh, there's been a sea change in regulations. Uh, earlier, a lot of the solar projects were off-grid, which meant that uh, because of the infirm nature of power, it meant that the solar power generated needed to be stored. That uh, storage was typically in lead-acid batteries. Just to give you one example, uh, I stay in an apartment complex called Shobha Petunia, which is near Manyata Tech Park in North Bangalore. So in 2011, when we moved into the complex, our builder had actually put up uh, solar panels on the rooftop, but these were for off-grid applications. So these were connected to a battery bank, which in turn connected to our uh, street lights within the complex. And uh, unfortunately, uh, because the batteries were expensive, the batteries needed a fairly high amount of maintenance, that system eventually fell into disuse and pretty much that project was a non-starter. Now, uh, that does not need to be the case today. So pretty much with regulatory change, changes, particularly uh, the introduction of net metering, uh, that problem is taken care of. So for those of you who are not aware, uh, net metering uh, effectively means that we don't need the expensive batteries. And uh, uh, during the day when uh, generation is maximum, uh, whatever is consumed within the building is consumed, or whatever is surplus is actually exported to the grid. And at the end of the month, a bidirectional meter records what was the total consumption, what was the total amount of power exported, and you only pay for the net amount. Uh, this is a big, uh, big step forward. So to sum up, uh, it's a real win-win today, compelling economics. Uh, earlier, economics only worked when you had uh, uh, subsidy or tax breaks. Today, even without subsidy and tax breaks, uh, solar uh, <coughs> economics are very attractive. IRRs in anywhere from 15 to 20 percent, payback periods uh, anywhere from five to seven years, but now closer to six years. Uh, BAF is doing a lot of work on the regulatory front as well. and. Uh, BAF is also working at developing a network of uh, vendors and service partners who will allow us all to actually uh, benefit from the common knowledge we all have in actually making this a mass market initiative. 
difference in terms of steps. Uh, uh, the way we're thinking about it at the Bangalore Apartment Federation is to start with technical feasibility. Here, shadowing needs to be studied, uh, presence of other high buildings around, or potentially high buildings around coming up could all impact the amount of plant which you could put on your rooftop. Choose between CapEx, OPEX, and the bells and whistles around generation guarantees, uh, buybacks, etc. Uh, seek quotes and then finally go ahead contract and implement. They said okay fine we need to do uh, rooftop solar also. They created a policy. They said 400 megawatts is our uh, target from rooftop solar. They've created a uh, net metering tariff. I'm, I'm not sure how many of you guys are aware. At that point the net metering tariff was 9 point some 6 rupees or something. So you were paying uh, you know 6 to 8 rupees for the grid electricity but if you had set up rooftop solar and you had any surplus you gave to the grid you would get 9.64 just a lot of the uh, uh, you know bottlenecks are in <coughs> actually just providing people the relevant information what are the policies what are the procedures to apply what is the cost who is a correct vendor what is the correct uh, operation and maintenance system so i think I'm, i was really happy when kazi mentioned i think the policy is there the motivation is there we just have to that get that final push to push people into doing projects. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to the Ada team and uh, all of you for coming on a Saturday morning.